Not you. I'm gonna get this job. You. You. Mr. Smith, my final question. What is the sole reason for your application here? What makes you think you can make a difference here? What makes you think that you'll fit in here? Can you answer me that? Oh, well, a hobby I didn't quite tell you about is I like to get high. So I need the money for that, don't I? Know what I'm saying? <coughs> Somehow I'm not surprised. Well, Mr. Smith. All the information I need. Have you got any other questions? Well, yeah. I was wondering, have you got any cookies I can take home with me? You may have some luck on the way out of reception. There's a little Tesco that's down the road, but other than that, no, I don't have any cookies. Okay, cool. Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon then. You know where the door is? Oh Jesus, won't you send me a suitable candidate? Dedication. Determination. Not to mention my bulging biceps. Yeah. You're gonna get this job, man. You deserve this job. Ah, oh, nice one, mate. How's it going? Yeah, good to see you, man. Oh, just had my interview, innit? Oh, I'm, I'm actually just going there next. Right? I really yeah. think it's gonna go well. I mean, how did yours go? Oh yeah man, it went really well. I definitely nailed it man. Anyway, good luck and I'm gonna go buy some cookies, innit? Oh cool. You may want to get a backup plan though, because I really think I might get this job, so you might want to look for another one. Oh yeah, yeah, I will do man. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get some cookies now, innit? Oh cool. Oh, good luck. Yeah, thanks very much man. See you later. Yeah. There are only a few Mr. Davis, if you'd like to make your way upstairs. Okay, thanks very much man. Ah, Mr. Davis. Hi, thanks for meeting me. Quite a grip you've got there. Yeah, yeah people commend me on that. Nervous? Don't worry about it. Shake it off, shake it off. I want this to be a process that you remember for me. I want to get to know you personally, professionally, on every level. Now, I've read your resume and it's very impressive. Not that impressive. We are a company that specialises in IT and communications, and when I say that, it means we do IT and communications. What can you bring to this company? What gives you the right to apply for such a position? Well, I studied programming uh, at university, so this is well, sort of like a step down for me to go into a job like this, because I'm more specialised, but... Well said, Mr. Davis. Well said. Now, I've been looking at your resume and you've rambled on about activities that I don't see how they have any relevance to IT communications. Your ultimate Frisbee team, for instance. Maybe you should tell me more about that or any of these other activities. Show me how you can transfer these skills into my business. Well, actually, I'm pretty surprised that you said that because ultimate Frisbee has so many aspects to it that will definitely transfer. I mean, firstly, the dedication and the determination is apparent. I mean, I just came from training and my bag is outside. People say that I'm actually the best on our team and I'm also the biggest and strongest. I don't even use protein, unlike the other guys. But I've said many times to myself that if I could, I would clone myself and to do all the jobs in our armor Frisbee team because I would do it better than a lot of the guys there. So, what I really want to do with my life eventually, because I don't see this as a complete future career, I want to move over to America where there's a big league and it pays a lot of money to be an ultimate frisbee professional. And also that I'm musically talented, I feel, and I can really pick up any instrument that's handed to me. I mean, my friend who I live with, um, he's good at guitar, but I think I'm almost better than him. And it's only been a couple of weeks. Also, my my friend is a BMXer. Uh, he, recently, I've got into that. 
he writes a certain way, which is, I mean, he's better than me at that, but I write in a different way, which is better in that sense. I write that better than he could. So, I can really turn my hand to anything, especially the because I speak two languages. I think my brain is faster than most people. And I've often said to people, I am special. Well, Mr. Davis, no shortage of confidence. We can all see that. Well, um, I think I've heard enough. Now, four words. How would you sum yourself up? Beautiful mind, a beautiful body. Well, Mr. Davis, that was a memorable quote. Well, I think that's all we need from you today. Any more questions, just drop in. Thank you for coming in. Just before I go, I actually bought some programming work I did at Union. It's pretty impressive. I think you should take a look if you do so much for your company. Uh, that is appreciated, but we cannot take uh, documents from people who aren't employees. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, I mean, it's your loss, but it really could help you. Right. Well, uh, can I just say one thing before I go? I mean, about this whole interview process. I, I think I could do a better job from your side. I mean, you didn't really ask anything about me, it was all about you and your company. I think that's really quite selfish, self-centered. It's just my opinion. But take it on board. <laughs>